We have seen the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is already powering some absolutely brilliant smartphone and we can help what the next gen Snapdragon will have to offer. Qualcomm will undoubtedly have a new chipset to powering the 2024 flagship smartphone and the next gen chipset referring the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So what specification we can expect from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, what improvement bring in the chipset, we will discuss in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's dive in. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will not make use of the SMC 3nm process. As Apple was previously reported to have secured the entire supply for its up upcoming S17 Bionic and M3 chipset. Instead, Qualcomm's upcoming flagship SoC will likely be manufactured on the same 4 nanometer architecture as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is not a bad thing, though it does mean that in the terms of pure efficiency metrics, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will lose the A17 Bionic quite easily. In terms of naming conventions, it seems that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has part code SM8650 and its code name either Lanai or Pineapple. Lanai especially makes sense as the Snapdragon chipset have often shared a code name with either Hawaiian Island or events. Qualcomm might opt for a 1 plus 5 plus 2 CPU cluster 16 4 bit only this time, which means with the efficiency cores reduced, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 could be focused on delivering more performance when it starts powering Android flagship next year. The chip is predicted to use one Cortex X4 core running at 3.2 GHz, five Cortex A720 cores running at 3 GHz, two Cortex A520 cores running at 2 GHz. According to the leaker Ice Universe, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's Adreno 750 GPU will have a significant improvement in performance compared to the Adreno 740 and will feature a 10 MB L3 case compared 8 MB L3 case in the predecessor. As revealed by Digital Chat Station, it appears Qualcomm will equip the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 with significant more powerful GPU than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Adreno 740. Specifically, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's GPU presumably named the Adreno 750 is expected to offer 50% better performance than its predecessor. Considering the current gap between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and A16 Bionic in the GPU department, it looks unlikely that the A17 Bionic will be able to retake its performance advantage. Some smartphones may will be the first to use the Snap Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is Xiaomi 14, the Vivo X1 series, IQ 12 series, the Redmi K70 series, OnePlus 12 or Realme GT5 and more. According to the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 rumors, Qualcomm is preparing to drop 32-bit support fine. The specification leak also lists a UFAs 4.1 and LPDDR5 RAM support, with the integrated 5G modem being a Snapdragon X75 which Qualcomm announced just recently. The single core and multi core score have also been provided in the tweet above, so Qualcomm is likely going all in the performance front to make sure that it gains an edge against its competitors. There's plenty to look forward to with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which will power flagship smartphones launching in early 2024. Of course, Qualcomm isn't the only company expected to unveil new silicon later this year. We were equally excited to see what Google has in store with the Tensor J3 II. The Snapdragon flagship series typically gets announced at the Snapdragon Summit around November or December every year, and we expect that it will be about the same in the case of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. After that, we expect that the first devices will release in China shortly after, with international releases expected to arrive in early 2024. We recommend that our readers treat all this information with a pinch of salt, and hopefully, in the second half, we will come across a significantly more solid leap, so we will rely all those details to you in due time. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Fatoni Asari, see you in another video.